Okay, so I am going to tell you guys why I got out of the military. I was in the Air Force. A lot of people on my Instagram were asking me, you know, what happened? Are you still in the military? Because literally I was, it seemed, you know, from social media that I was active duty one minute and literally the next I wasn't. So um, I'm gonna tell y'all what went down, exactly what happened, why I'm no longer active duty, and you know, all of the events that led up to me basically being honorably discharged. So let's take it back. So in 2018, um, that was the year that I was graduating from high school. So I wanna say like maybe around like March, um, my husband's parents, so at the time he was just my boyfriend, um, his parents took us on a college tour. So I wanted to go to UGA, University of Georgia. That was my dream school. That's where I wanted to go. You know, that's just what I wanted to do um, since a little girl. So his parents took us on the tour. He was also interested in going to school there. So his parents took us on the tour, we stopped at financial aid to talk to like, you know, the financial advisor or whatever. And I found out that I could not go to college. No fault of my own, but due to some other personal reasons, you know, some other things that was going on, um, outside of school and you know I had a scholarship I graduated with over a 3.7 so that wasn't a problem but it was due to some personal things so on our way leaving the college campus um, my mother-in-law was like you know I'm gonna call your brother talking to my husband and at the time I want to say his older brother was like maybe 15 or 16 years in the army um, I'm not sure if that's like if super accurate I just know he was over 10 years army and so he had a conversation with us maybe about 45 minutes to an hour about the pros and cons of the military and so one thing about my husband and I we always do our research before we make any big decisions we always like pretty much go to the horse's mouth get it from the horse's mouth so we literally go to people that's already done that already in that situation and that's where we get our advice from so we talked to his brother because you know he was actually already in the military so after talking to his brother, we decided that we were interested in enlisting. So fast forward, maybe like a couple months, maybe it was a month, I'm not really too sure. Um, but I know after that conversation, shortly after we went and saw a recruiter. Just from you know research outside of talking to his brother, we decided, okay, listen, we wanna go Air Force. So we went and talked to the recruiter and um, we pretty much like liked what he was saying. Everything was like making sense. And we were just like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna enlist. If you wanna know how the process works to enlist in the Air Force, I don't really know how it works for any other branch, but I know specifically for the Air Force um, exactly how the process goes. So if that's something you wanna know, comment below and I'll give you the info if that's something that you wanna do. Um, so however, fast forward, we go into something called the DEP, which is the Delayed Entry Program. And pretty much like, you know, at this point, we just gotta graduate. And so we graduated from high school. Um, we graduated May 20th. I turned 18 May 11th. So shout out to the Taurus. Um, so yes, I turned 18. We graduated and now it's like summertime. So, you know, we pretty much gone through like paperwork and like all of those things um, to join the military. That was pretty much a long process. You know, some different things happened. Um, but long story short, we enlisted, we both joined and that's pretty much how it was my original ship date was like in november like maybe like mid-november and i had to pretty much decline my first ship date because wes and i got married november 30th 2018. so i literally like my recruiter called me was like yo can you leave in like three days and i'm like no i'm getting married next week and so I didn't end up taking my original date, but if I did take my original date, I would have left and joined the military before my husband was. But due to me not taking my original date, Wes ended up leaving before me. So he left December 18th, um, I think 2018, and I ended up leaving February 26, 2019. Fast forward two years and some change, I'm no longer in the military. I did sign a six year contract. And so here's the real tea. Let's get into it. I'm not in the military anymore because I pretty much got sick. Um, so what went down was my job was POL. I was a fuels troop. What that means is I basically fueled airplanes. Real deal. Big old truck, 
big old hose, connecting it to the plane, filling up the plane. Um, it was literally like that simple um, amongst a lot of other crazy stuff. But that's pretty much what I did in the military. And so um, I found out from one of my supervisors basically putting me on a night shift that I couldn't really see that well at night. And it wasn't really necessarily like super like news flash, you can't see, but it was also like one of those things where it's like, okay, I knew I couldn't see that well at night, but like, you know, this is a problem. And so I had to end up getting my eyes checked. And when I went to optometry, I found out that I had something called diminished night vision. So pretty much I couldn't drive or perform my job in the hours of like nighttime. So that started a whole thing with me going through something called a MEB, which is a medical evaluation board. So in the process of you going through a medical evaluation board or a MEB, they pretty much evaluate your whole entire body. So in the process of me getting everything evaluated, they literally look at everything, everything, anything that's wrong with you, they will find out. So in the process of going through this, um, they do multiple tests. And particularly, they did a respiratory test on me since I did work around hazardous chemicals. Um, when my respiratory test was completed, after, you know, many different tests were ran, I was diagnosed with COPD. So I do currently have COPD, which stands for Chronic Obstruction Polymary Disease, aka a lung, a lung disease. I don't like to call it that. Um, but that's what it is. I try to stay positive about it and, you know, I don't let that control me. I don't let that run me. And I do not certainly do not let that dictate my life. But, you know, however, I was diagnosed with COPD at the age of 20. After my diagnosis, um, I was diagnosed in November of 2020. After my diagnosis, you know, of course, I was continuing to go through the MEB. And, um, at some point in that process, I was pretty much asked, you know, do you want to cross train or do you want to get out? And um, receiving a diagnosis that serious at such a young age, I opted to get out. Um, I asked my commander at the time, you know, hey, I don't want to do this. And so your commander has a large say so and whether or not you stay in the military or whether or not you get out. So I did originally have a letter from my previous commander um, basically telling the board to retain me allow me to stay enlisted in the Air Force. I asked my current commander at the time to retract this statement and write me a new letter asking them not to retain me because I no longer wish to continue my service um, due to my health. And so long story short, um, that was like maybe around December, shortly after I received my diagnosis. And um, in January, I got my decision from the board that they were not keeping me in the military. And this was very, very pleasant news to me because I simply just was not happy. I was at a very low point in my life at this time um, mentally. And so I was happy that I was able to get like what I call like a fresh start, a chance to kind of like start over and do something else. My last day active duty was March 31st, 2021. I am now a proud veteran. Um, I am disabled, but you know, it is what it is, you know, be that as it may, you, you take that as you will, you know, you can either be disabled or you can take the opportunity that it has given you and run with it. I decided in April, um, to become a realtor. So I signed with KW in April. This was actually something that I decided way before that, but, um, that's when I actually like, you know, put things to work, took my test all of those things and yeah so here i am now but that's pretty much it um if you have any questions let me know in the comments and if you want to continue to follow me on my journey to see more hit like and subscribe turn the bell on so you guys can know when i post i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i will see y'all next time